Hey guys, welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about the multiple inheritance in Python. So we have already understood about the inheritance concept. Now Python supports multiple inheritance and multi-level in inheritance. So we'll understand about the multiple inheritance, what exactly it means and how you can achieve multiple inheritance in Python. So here I have prepared a little bit of code just to save us a time. I'll copy that and then create a new file and name it as multiple inheritance demo. Let me paste everything here. So if you see the two top lines here, so these are the comments and this is some of the description that I have taken. So multiple inheritance basically means that a class can inherit attributes and methods from more than one class. So in the inheritance, we have seen that you can inherit the method attributes and properties from the base class or the parent class. Now it is also possible in Python that say for example there are two different classes you can or your derived class or the subclass can inherit the properties and attributes and methods from two of those or more than two classes okay so here if you see say for example you are working in a game development organization and there are certain modules or the classes being developed right so move character so it doesn't matter which character usually uh, is say for example pokemon or other character for example mickey mouse or popoe so there are there are many different characters right in uh, the cartoon so basically in the uh, your your game if you are developing that so those all characters can move can jump in the game and tomorrow if you have to introduce a new character then you can reuse the move character and jump character classes and functionalities right so you should be having that flexibility and multiple inheritance just provides that so now these are my two classes now say for example in one of the classes i'm implementing a particular character okay so say for example i'm implementing a class or creating a class and this class is for the pokemon okay so the class pokemon and this particular class pokemon either i can implement all of these methods so move forward move backward jump one level two level so there might be n number of methods in move character and jump characters right so either i can create all of these methods in a pokemon class which is not a good idea right there is there will be a lot of duplication and your code won't be maintainable so that's where this thing comes in picture so what we can do is we can inherit the properties and methods from both of these classes so what we can do is we if we want to inherit the properties of the move character we can simply say move character and then comma separated and then specify the other class right if tomorrow there is another base class which we want to inherit we will simply say comma separated and name of that other class okay so this is what multiple inheritance means in python so now we have inherited these two base classes right so this child class or the derived class pokemon in, is inheriting the methods and properties of these two base classes okay so now if i simply pass it i won't implement anything here so now i should be able to access all the methods that are there in the move character and jump character in this pokemon subclass okay so let me create an object of the pokemon class so we'll say pokemon and then we should be able to access all the methods right so we should be able to access move backward and we should be able to access methods from the jump okay so if i run this now you will see that move backward one step jump character one level has been printed now tomorrow if say for example in your game development you are implementing other cartoon characters for example mickey okay so mickey would also need to move and jump right so if you want to get those properties you simply inherit okay so inherit from these two classes and create an object of mickey i'll simply say pass i won't implement this class at the moment so we'll create an object of mickey and i will say now mickey object will be able to move forward or move backward or jump one level or jump two level right so all the methods that are available in the base classes will be able to or the subclasses or the child classes whichever you will derive from these base classes will be able to access those methods and use those methods and that's what multiple 
inheritance is okay so there is something oh okay i missed this colon here so now it should be fine okay so now you can see this mickey class as well is able to use the methods that we have defined in the parent class move character and jump character now one more important thing let me comment these out and move this so how the resolution happens so method resolution order so basically how the search happens so that's very important concept to remember when you are using multiple inheritance so search is first done into the current class so say but for example when we say move backward right so what it will do is if say for example here i haven't done pass okay so what i have done is say for example i have overridden this method so i have sent said def and then move say for example move backward and here i am saying pokemon moving okay so now in this particular case the precedence will be given to this particular child class method right because this method move backward has been overridden in the child class so if i print this now you will see that it is pokemon moving and jump character 111 has been printed so this is what basically method resolution order is so what method method resolution order is it will search in the first in the current class then the search continues into the parent class in depth first left to right fashion okay so depth first left to right fashion that's very important so say for example let me move it to pass again okay let me leave it as is so first it what it did is it checked for this move backward into this particular derived class right it found it and it printed this particular uh, statement pokemon moving okay then when we called jump one level so what it will do is it won't be able to find here right so it won't be able to find in the current class then the search continues in the parent class in the depth first left to right so it will move to the parent class move character first okay so move character first it will move and it will check whether this particular method is there or not okay so jump character is not there right or jump level one is uh, jump one level is not there then it will move to jump character class and find whether this particular method is there or not okay so this is what method resolution order is and there is a function that you can use so if i say print and say pokemon dot method resolution order okay so this method will print the resolution order in which the resolution will happen okay so you can see here first it will look for the class pokemon then it will move to the move character right then it will move to the jump character and then the class object as we know in python everything is an object so any class that you write in python is derived or the subclass of the object class okay so that's very important remember everything an object everything in python is object and any class that you write in python by default is derived from the object class and that is why you see that object class is the last that will be looked at okay now say for example i change this order here so i'll say jump character just want to show you the resolution order so currently it is move character and then jump character now next time i'll run because i have changed this jump, jump character it should change to jump character and move character right the resolution because it happens from left to right so you can see that it's doing from the jump character then the main uh, move character and the object right so child class jump character so the child class if you have defined anything here then jump character move character and that's how it basically does the method resolution so that's all about the multiple inheritance in python i hope this example will help you to understand multiple inheritance and also able to explain multiple inheritance and implement it in your python code and selenium automation so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching